A proper nourishment is an essential physiological requirement for a healthy life. Nevertheless, one out of every nine people do not have the possibility to achieve it. The increase of the world population associated with the actual climate change scenario, aggravation of social differences and depletion of resources play a major role in this problem. This dynamic is increasingly rapidly. And by 2050, the Earth will count with 9,000 million hungry inhabitants, and that will imply an increase in agricultural production by 70%, nothing far from sustainable. Due to climate change, our land is thirsty and dusty. Therefore, it is on the planned yield and not on the expansion of the arable land where the efforts have to be focused. It is indispensable to search for more effective crops, to optimize new irrigation protocols, and to use proper fertilizer to ensure the ideal provision of nutrients. And how do we feed these super effective crops? So far, the ultimate response to that were mineral fertilizers. So, alternative sources, the so-called amendments, and sources of irrigation are a matter of great interest. For example, we could reuse organic waste to produce food and water treated in water treatment plants to irrigate our now super efficient crops. And that's simply what many companies are currently doing, advocating for this eco-friendly reuse of resources. The main limitation for the reuse of treated wastewater and fertilizer derived from organic waste to produce food is their potential health risk for producers and consumers. So, are these well-known organic products really safe? Um, here is where my research team and I are focusing our efforts. We want to test if this future reduce of biosolid or organic amendments is like feasible, if it's possible in a nearly future. So, we want to ensure at all costs their safety for producers and for consumers also. So we will keep you updated.